Jack. There's a statewide APB out on it. Jack's okay. He has something up his sleeve. He's not worried about being caught. How do we help? We go after the other side of the equation. Jack has a lesion and its cronies running scared. We go after the doctor and some of the other guys. But the whole department breathing down our necks. It's time for action, Herschel. It's time for change. Jack's crossed the Rubicon and we have to be on the other side of the hill. Christ, what was that? An explosion. There's something big. You think it's the Reds? You think those rusky sons of bitches that dropped the H-bomb on us? Calm down, Herschel. We need to be ready for the call. I'm not waiting for an invitation. Get in the car and head for the cloud. KGPL can give us the details on the way. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! <laughs> What's going on people? My name is Such a Ninja and this is some more LA Noir DLC. Uh, this one is called the Nicholson Explo Electroplating, sorry. And we're gonna go do what you shouldn't do in real life is go towards the gigantic explosion. <laughs> and I already know the way there, so we're not gonna wait for KGB to tell us where it is. Here we are. Hey, it looks like Vancouver. <laughs> Too soon? We have looters around the corner. Cut them or put them down. We need to get this area under control. You don't shoot at cops, you little prick. Get that bastard, Paul. I'm on it. I'm on it, old man. See if I can kick them all down one shot. Quick draw. So like a I never seen nothing like I wish I could say the same. It's like a bomb's gone off. Jesus Christ. Poor people. We gotta find out what went down. Oh boy. Get delayed somewhere. I want hazardous pay for this. It wasn't nuclear. If it was, we'd all be dead from the radiation. That's reassuring. What's radiation? Everyone inside the factory is vaporized. <laughs> Look at the size of that crater. What's going on over there? The mayor is going on television, appealing for calm. Television? We can afford one of those things. Anything to go on? We're looking at the remains of Nicholson electroplating. I have an idea of what might have caused the explosion. But I'm only guessing. Have a look around the rubble, see if you come up with it. Television. Who can afford one of those things? And it's time for us to do our job. Classic. So let's start with the clues here. First clue you want to do. Oh, first thing you want to do is I just passed it. Sorry. Is go down this right alley all the way. Then make another right at the fireman, and you'll see a cop right here standing to. Hey, detective. I think I got something here. It looks like a fishbowl. Sweet heavens above. And we've just got to match it up. What I do is just spell the word wasp. Very large. Looks to me like some kind of machine component. An airplane part, maybe. Alrighty. Then just come back out of here. Is he having a cigarette in the middle of a gigantic explosion? <laughs> Uh, don't smoke kids, it's bad for you. Alright, next is right here. You want to pick up this piece of exploded clothing. Zoom in. Looks like all that's left. I can try the laundry tag. I don't know why people always leave their laundry tags in in this game or on. <laughs> I always take mine off right away. I don't know about you guys. Then finally, just search this briefcase. Blew the locker open, but shielded the contents. Let's see what we got in here. And you actually have to search every single thing in this box. So, the name? Tomoko Akamato. Japanese name. Then this thing that you do not know what the hell it is. Any ideas, Herschel? None that I care to utter for public consumption. 
And like all good cops in the 40s, it looks valid, Bill. So we're gonna pocket it. <laughs> and then I thought this was a harmonica at first, but it's actually a camera. Only OSS agents use these things. We'll need to get the film developed to see if there's an espionage angle. Alrighty, and then our first puzzle of the day. What is it? A substitution cipher. The Germans used them in the war. These are cipher rings. You know what to do with them? Maybe. I use them in OCS. Alright, so all you gotta do is just first go to K. The rest of the message should align itself. <clears throat> and then select the oops there select K then move the inner ring move it there put the K on the H that's why it says H equals K okay and then now all we have to do is swing around the outside so what the word that you're gonna be spelling is North Vermont Avenue so North N V E I'm done spelling for you guys. You guys get the picture. You can just do it letter by letter, but I'm just I know the word already, so I'm just gonna do it quicker for you guys. There we go. Oh, went the long way. Oh wait, I got the T, sorry. And then the A. And then finally, the last letter. Feels like I'm on Sesame Street right here. 133 North Vermont Avenue. Music tells us we got all the clues. Good stuff, because this is a five-star walkthrough, so I should be getting all the clues for you guys. And then we just got an interview with the owner of the place that That's just went up up the flames. <laughs> Ignore him. We got everything already. Don't worry about it. I'm Fred Nicholson. This is your place? What's left of it? 32 years of work up in smoke. I swear we've seen this guy from previous missions already. I think he was the... Maybe not. Let me take another look at him. Uh, Nicholson plant explosion. Can you tell us what happened? Our uh, chief chemist, Harold McClellan, was using this area to test the, the new process. What exactly is this new process? Uh, that's uh, classified information, son. And it is doubt. A lot of people died here, Mr. Nicholson. I'm prepared to go to the press and tell them it was your fault. What is the new process? A way to chemically polish aluminum. It's traditionally done by hand. It's extremely labor-intensive. The process could be worth millions. Whereabouts of Akamoto? Okay, I definitely slaughtered that. <laughs> Who is Tomiko Akamoto? Dr. McClellan's personal assistant. No, she came highly recommended. Then it is a lie. Akamoto was involved in industrial espionage. Was she working for you or for a foreign government? That's a ridiculous assertion. How can you possibly say she was a spy? Because she has spy gear espionage. How many of your other employees carry spy cameras in their handbags? Jesus, Mary and Joseph, she was selling me out. If she wasn't a foreign spy, who could she have been working for? There could be other plating companies. But the big customers for the process are the aircraft manufacturers. Lockheed, Boeing, Hughes, North American. Whereabouts of McClellan? What can you tell us about McClellan? A brilliant chemist. He approached me a few months ago with the idea for the new process. So no one has ever done this before? No, but it's legitimate research. Then it is doubt. 
So you thought McClellan could do what no one else could do. You were prepared to take that risk. Look, he is a... was a trained chemist. And his ideas could revolutionize electroplating. Mm. And you would be rich. I'm a businessman. What's wrong with turning a buck? You blew up six blocks. And God knows how many people are dead. I regret that. That's laudable. We'll be in touch, Mr. Nicholson. Can you send us Dr. McClellan and Miss Akamato's personnel files? I will if I can find them. By the way, we also found the collar of a shirt. It has a laundry tag. They're likely to be Dr. McClellan. And the majority of people who worked here don't use a laundry service. No laundry service, what the hell. Savages, I say. <laughs> this next part is somewhat glitchy. Uh, you actually have to find a game well, but it doesn't show up on your mini-map right away. So just walk around for a bit, and then it will eventually show up. I think the closest one is to the left right here. To the left? Where are we here? If you can't, if it doesn't show up right away, just run around for a bit, I guess. Maybe I'll get in my car. If the game is still saving. Maybe when it finishes saving, <laughs> then uh, it'll show up. Come on, quit saving. Bring me my game well. Let's go. Oh, there it is. There's one back there. I can see the blue light from here. See, as you can see, it didn't show up on our mini map at all, even though it should. So let's just go go run to it and access it. The game is kind of the dust is causing the game to lag a bit. <laughs> Wouldn't be the greatest engine for Call of Duty, I tell you that much. But it still looks pretty, even though everything stays still pretty much. Alright, access this. Detective Phelps, batch 1247. How could I help, Detective? Can you speak to someone at the Army Air Force Base for me, please? Of course, Detective. Tell them I have what I believe is an aircraft part. It's polished metal, light for its size. And it looks like a cone of some sort. It's stamped on the inside. P&W Wasp Major R4360. I'll get back to you, Detective, when you check in for messages. Anything else? I need an address for Superior Laundry Services. Closest store to your location is in Wilshire, 4766 Melrose Avenue. Thanks for your help. Stupid glitched out game well. <laughs> Alright, now we're turning through the car and we're going to be heading to Superior Laundry Services first. And it's going to look like a very familiar place with a, fi a very familiar man working the desk. I call straight racism. Just putting it out there right now. <laughs> oh, smoke slowing down frame rates. Alright, there we go. Can you drive to this one? Fox, where are we headed? Must they always ask me that? Come on. And I think this mission is, well, it's part of the arsons cases, but it's right after you teamed up with Jack. Well, what up, Nick Is he still alive? You could ask the same question about Tom and Carl Akamato. <laughs> what? I guess you could. <laughs> Got an answer. Not yet. He went right through that railing. Look familiar, guys? <laughs> What do you need? Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. 
We have one of your laundry tags. Can you tell us who it might belong to? Are you kidding? I got work to do, Mac. Here's the customer book. Knock yourself out. You pay now. Now. The number was uh, J2620, Cole. Right there. Who is Hangstrom? Could be someone else from the factory. Does he have an address? No. That end. I swear, guys. Thank you for all your help, sir. Real life Asian people are a lot more helpful than that last guy was. Like I said, racism. But anyways, let's use this phone. Operator, give me dispatch. So noisy. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. How could I help, detective? I need an address for an Oscar Hengstrom. Alright, let's go back to our car. You know the way. You can drive. And their ciphered address. Search for the apartment number. Well, well. Why the cloak and dagger routine, Miss Akamoto? Going to apartment one, which is conveniently right here. And I don't know about you guys, but I am certainly hungry. Let's check what's in the fridge. Not hungry for that. <laughs> You would have had something more to say about getting shoved in a fridge, Herschel. So I turned the place over. You better watch your step. All right, let's search the body. So we have to search the head. One to the head, one to the heart. Point blank. And as well, both hands. Oh, James Lindbergh. Very expensive watch. Figured by Flyboys. I always wanted one as a kid. That's funny. As a kid, all I wanted was some food on the table. And then we got the watch. Now we just need the ring on this side. Could be a class ring. Okay. And then over by the fireplace, we'll find a tie pin. This is Biggs. Sure. The department gives you one of those when you retire. And then you can. This isn't a clue, but you can expect the uh, blood splatter. There you go. And finally, the missing piece that we already have. Looks like we have a match. Microfilm. A document shrunk to the size of your thumbnail. Rod must have amazing eyesight. Is that an Asian joke? Come on, people. <laughs> Biggs, age 525. I'll need a couple of black and whites at 133 North Vermont Avenue, Wilshire. We'll need an ambulance in the corner. Probably a team from technical services as well. Alrighty, now I'll just use the payphone, or sorry, the regular telephone. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Detective Phelps, batch twelve forty-seven. Messages, please. You need to call Ray Pinker urgently. Can you put me through? It's ringing now. We're on our way in. Nix that. I got. 
got a message from Lindbergh Field. An airplane tech there identified your part. What is it? He said it was a prop spinner from either a Corsair or a B-50. A what? Fits over the center of the propeller and protects the pitch gearing. So it's a military part? Could be, but get this. The Spruce Goose runs eight Wasp R-4360s. I think you better get over there and check it out. We're on it. We got our prop spinner, which was that uh, fishbowl thing that we found there first at the crime scene. And then we're just gonna go check out Mr. Hughes's place. The aviator, famous airplane designer from the uh, 1940s. You're behind the wheel. I think Leonardo DiCaprio did a movie with him about him called The Aviator. <laughs> Let's go, old man. 